Happy New Year, folks. Andre here from Two to Fly Hobbies coming back with another video. Got a little something new for you, so stay tuned and see you in a sec. See ya! All right, folks, uh, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone had an awesome new year. Um, well, as you can see right in front of you, this is uh, my new little thing that I got here recently in the mail. Um, order from A Main Hobbies, again, stationed overseas. Uh, took about eight days to get here, so not terribly bad. As you can see, basically what it is, is the uh, Mini Z all wheel drive ready set. Um, Why'd I get it? One, <laughs> it's small, it's fun, or appears to be fun. And uh, something I could do indoors. It's really cold here in Korea. Um, the all-wheel drive is the uh, drift version. Um, and what I ended up getting, I got the 370Z. Um, I wanted the R34. Really hard to find um, at the same time. I mean, three or the uh, GTR is uh, pretty darn cool. Correct what I said. It's the actual uh, GTR version. Never had a Mini Z. Um, this is my first one. Um, I've been looking at some other videos and seeing what to do with it and uh, the upgrades. But what I thought I would do is I'm going to have everything just stock. Um, see what how it how it feels. Um, I know I'm going to need to do some upgrades to it. Plus I want to do some upgrades to it. That's probably um, most of the fun, right? Is upgrading your toys. So. Um, with that being said, we're going to open this up and I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep it bone stock, play with it a little bit, and then uh, we'll start a, a little series on the all-wheel drive Mini Z as well. All right, so see you in a sec. All right, um, I got it unboxed. I forgot I need to do an unboxing video. There's plenty of these type of videos on YouTube, but for those of you here, this is what it looks like out of the box. You know, you kind of use my hand as a reference of the size. Now I will say they're a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be, which is a good thing because it can be much easier to run indoors. Um, I will say that true, true to the word, like everyone says online, the details in the body is just phenomenal, especially for the um, size of the car, I mean, just take a look at that. Check out that front grille. All the logos appear to be in the right spot. Um, everything is just nice. Underside, nothing fancy. Motor hot. I'll go ahead and uh, remove that when I get some batteries in there. Um, the controller, of course, you know, is nothing to write home about. It's your standard, very cheap remote which eventually I'll upgrade um, looks like it's nothing I don't have anything compatible with it off the jump um, I'll probably get that noble or the fly sky I think everyone typically gets for these um, it's like an impressive radio but that'll come with time um, in the box you also get these cones which is actually pretty neat because I could sip a little drift area right here in this room the floor is really slick um, and it looks like some spare tool sets Here's a mini mini driver. Um, no, other other tools. Yeah, we'll open that later. And then here looks like there's some spare pinions and gears and stuff like that. Um, not quite sure how to even begin to open the body. I'm assuming you just pop it off. Yeah. One thing they don't tell you, right? Is how to take the body off. Oh, okay. Simple enough. There's the body. Um, it doesn't come with LED lights, but there are provisions for it. Or actually, no. Looks like I'm gonna have to drill a little bit to get some LEDs back there. But I think LEDs are gonna be a must. Um, put that down. Um, everything is very plasticky as it should be right the ready set will run you between $189 $199 somewhere in that ballpark um, and what you get is the box stock car 
Um, <laughs> looks like this thing is going to be a lot of fun. All right. It runs on, uh, I believe, four AAA batteries. If I could read that correctly. I do not have the uh, rechargeable ones yet. Uh, I'm going to have to source those locally because no hobby shops or Amazon will deliver it to my APO address because I'm overseas. But um, I think I, I have a shop that's about 45 minutes away to an hour away on the train. It's a uh, hobby shop called Yongsan RC. Um, I'll go check them out. I know they have some mini Z parts. And then I'll start playing with it and start ordering some stuff. Man, that is tiny. Definitely going to need my glasses for that. All right. Let's uh, get some standard AAA batteries in here and let's um see what she can do all right see you in a sec all right folks here's a run So, as you can see, that was my first ever little run with a Mini Z. Um, I can see where this is going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. Um, one, because I could do it right here in the warmth of my own home. And again, um, it's relatively inexpensive getting into. Um, it looks awesome. I'm very pleased with the aesthetics of it. Um, Apparently there's a lot of upgrades for it, like the gyro, which I'm going to be getting as soon as I can. Um, only tip and trick is when you first get it and you want to go put the batteries in, make sure you remove the shipping um, plug or shipping 
whatever it is. This is the device they use to mount it to the box. Um, if you don't remove this, you're not going to be able to get the batteries in. Ask me how I know. Anyway, sometimes it pays to read the uh, instructions. No, but folks, this is definitely worth the money. It's definitely fun. You can buy more of them. Um, does it need some upgrades? Sure, but what RC doesn't? And plus, like I said earlier, that is um, most of the fun and the hobby that we love, right? Is upgrading, tinkering, and making it better. Um, once you get the batteries in there, it has a pretty good weight. Um, but definitely, definitely looking really forward to this. Um, again, bone stock. Um, I'm going to get some parts and pieces and see how um, it evolves into a little driving machine. All right. Well, that's about it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe down there. Help me out. Let me grow this channel some more. Um, this is going to be the one of the new series. All right. We'll call it the Mini Z series evolution of getting started into Mini Z's because I'm a beginner. So, um, the other cars are still in the shop, meaning I'm going to get to them as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for riding with me. Till the next time. See ya.